カーの技と同じやこんにちは。You know, back when Bill Fighters wasn't, I mean, Bill Divers, back when Bill Divers born, and then, you know, Bill Divers sucks, and then Bill Fighters, extremely good. But, anyways, let's take a look. So, simple free packages. Oh, I miss, I miss the old instruction book. Like, look, this is perfect. So, now let's take a look so we got extra dark matter so we got mayor jeans introduction and the dark matter introduction at the back we got the menu and then we got material gunpla from the extra strongest enemy sword type and then we got weapon introduction some kind of yeah i missed this part one point technique this is the part that i missed the most like every build divers instruction manual should probably include this because i just missed this part man let's bring, bring back a lot of memories quickly flick through nothing really happened and then let's take a look at the runner so we got some crosses on the a runner i mean c runner sorry <laughs> we got some crosses on the c runner other than that we don't really have anything crossing yeah that's it yeah let's take a look at the runners all right so now let's take a, take a look at the runners so first we got polycaps then we got stickers a lot of it actually so let's take a quick look so you see a lot of stickers and i assume the kind of separation is not going to be very good next up we got g runner brandy molded uh we got some backpack joint arms joint legs joint waist joint and some feet part then we got an edge runner, so it's also for the backpack, GN drives. Uh, we got some shoulder piece, outside armor, and thrusters. Then we got beam savers and party caps again. Then we got the J1 runner, is the for the all the clear pieces on the dark matter, the torso part, the head, the arms, you name it. That's the E part, so brand new. Oh, it's not brand new motor. It's actually from the uh, repair two. Um, so that's this. This is the fire sword, and we got sword. We got joints. We got waist parts. We got legs part, arms part, sword, torso, thrusters. There, you name it. This is a J two runner. So I believe this is the. I don't I'm not really sure which part it is. This probably is the oh that's the head and some part of the arms. This is an I1 runner. So we got uh mainly backpack, shoulders and side skirt and some arms and then we got some blades, some blades down here. A C runner. We got shields. Uh, open hand joints torso and legs this is the f runner so we got feet gen drives shoulder parts and side skirt legs part that's it that's probably it right anyway guys i'm gonna see you guys at the review just wait for a moment
Hey guys, welcome back to the review of the Gundam X Shear uh, Dark Matter and this is the finishing of it. A uh, couple things to say. First, it uses the alt mode so don't expect any good articulation is gonna be uh, blow your mind away. No, not, none of them have that. And also you might need to do some recolor for the weapons and the thrusters because it's supposed to be black and it doesn't give you any color separation at all you might have to repaint it i will talk about that later and my feeling about this gunpla is i feel like this is 10 times better than the advanced jinx that i built because advanced jinx and this extra dark matter they both uses the very old crappy double old uh, double old series joints but this time this X-Share surprisingly is more stable than the advanced jeans. It's not gonna have part randomly uh, flying off from the Gunpla. It doesn't have the handpiece armor, can't even put it in problem. They don't have, the, this Gunpla don't have this kind of problem. It's perfect. But it's just the articulation is, you know, old mode problems. They don't really have good articulation, but I can accept about that because at least this is way better than the advanced jeans. The advanced the advanced jeans gives me a feeling of total rip off and dark matter. Surprisingly, it came out better than I thought. And you know, I'm not gonna talk too much. Let's just jump straight into the articulation, and we will look about that. So as usual, let's start with the head. So the head this time is nothing really special. It's just um got the sticker at the front here. And you also got a sticker at the back of the head, I believe here, back of the head. And it's not, it's not very special. It just uses the uh, repair to actually repair tools mode, and then added just a couple, uh, dark matters part on it. And as you can see, both side here got a clear piece here. Under it is a is a silver sticker that it can reflect, so you can see that uh, it's kind of shiny under the sunlight. It will shine, so it was a good option. The articulation can move up and down, and as well as uh, moving 360, no problem at all. The overall the head movement is very good. All right, next up, let's look at the torso. The torso basically uses the repair tools part. It just uh, different colors, and as you can see, there's a large GN drive clear piece in the middle. Is silver sticker down there so you can look at it uh, the torso separation the color separation on the torso is doing a pretty good job as you can see if you move the hands this torso piece here will move along as well but the one thing that I don't like about the torso piece is 
it's extremely easy to pop out and it's kind of annoying when it keeps consistently popping out and it's a good detail though you can see the arm when you move the arms uh, the chest piece move along as well it's a good detail though but it's just very annoying when it keep popping out and this and this yellow part you thought it was parts no this is a sticker unfortunately i feel like this part can be a separate part but you know probably during that time or the technology they don't really have this kind of color separation but i can accept about that and the side here we got two attainers it's not movable if you move it they're gonna pop out so don't do it and the arms if i take off the backpack the arms the, if i take off the backpack the arms is capable of uh, doing a 360 rotation but now i have the backpack mount on it so you i can't really move, make the hand move 360. the hand is a old mold joint so it only can bend 90 degrees uh, the gray part here on the arms is stickers and clear piece and a silver sticker down below uh we we do have the hand rotation here the hands joint i feel like it's not really stable but the hand piece armor here is actually pretty stable it's not like the advanced jeans the advanced jeans is seriously pissing me off oh my god i keep roasting it i mean th th this is why it pisses me off if you touch it it's gonna fall off the advanced jeans one but this one is completely fine with it and the arms is able to lift up over 90 this is actually pretty surprising and the shoulder piece is an individual part as well you can move the shoulder piece as well that's great and yeah that's pretty much it now let's take a take a quick look of the torso the torso is able to move 360 actually you can turn it around 360 whatever you want and just turn it like that it's a pretty good thing though and there's a ball joint inside the inside the torso so you can move the so you can move the whole waist around basically you can move as you can see you can move the whole waist around like this there's a small ball joint there and obviously the front skirt is movable very slightly and okay and there's a part at the side there's no side skirt but at the part at the side here is actually where you store the fire the fire sword and the ice sword i like to call them that way because that's exactly what they do they have a different name but i forget i forgot what is it and uh drawing the legs is a ball joint as you can see here is a ball joint so you can't really kick to the side though but uh to the back slightly because the back skirt arm is in the way uh kick to the front is definitely okay 90 degrees no problem at all the feet down here got a joint here for you to move up and down as well small piece here is capable of doing some slight wrist movement as well the legs movement is surprisingly good better than the hands and that's pretty much it and during this is an alt mode you can't really spin the uh legs around and it just stuck at the 45 degrees rotation that's it and that's it for the articulation it's not really that it's not really that bad but it's acceptable so i'm just gonna take off the backpack to for you to look at it because the backpack can turn into a separate booster and i really want to show you that feature it's very cool but first uh excuse my language um this two side is using ball joints so the stabilizing ability is absolutely shit okay every time i got a ball joint i just have to disband eye because i just seriously don't like ball joints ball joints are cancers but anyway doesn't matter so so you can turn into a bird mode you just basically just rotate these around and there you go and the head there's a bird head here and you can move it they did give you a joint for you to move upside down the gn drive is here uh, each of these separate red pieces here is movable as well uh there's double ball joints in here so uh top of the wings and the bottom of the wings can be individually moved as you wished and just like this and it's very easy to pop out so be careful when you move around this uh sort of like a very wings sword type thing can be rotated around if you just put some force on it you can move it around i think that is very good so you can add some additional additional uh what's that called additional movement on it and this and the bottom of the wings can be detached and actually turn into a combat sword as you can see there's a handle in there but i don't have nails so give me a minute i don't have nails and basically you just flip this up gosh this is so damn hard to 
flip it up. Just give me a minute. As you can see, there's a separate handle in the sword. You can hold it. You can hold it on the gunpla. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Didn't mean that to happen. You can hold it on the gunpla's hand like this. And you can do whatever poses you wish the gunpla to do. I think I think the backpack idea is excellent. You can turn it to bird and you, you can even like put a sword out at the front. I think that idea is excellent. And just give me a minute. And if you rotate these around, you can turn it back to the backpack mode and then just put it back on the extra again. This backpack, I seriously though, if I have to give a mark about this backpack, I'm probably gonna give like 10 out of 10 because this backpack design is extremely excellent. It's turning to, it can be individual bird mode, backpack mode, and then you can pull two uh, combat sword out of the backpack. I think that idea is excellent. Whoever designed the extra dark matter and the amazing extra, I'm gonna give you credit about that because you seriously turned backpack into something kind of fun. Now let's go up to the park that you folks been waiting for so long. Uh, so first, I'm gonna I I actually didn't forget to mention this. There's two face you can choose, uh, either Gundam face or cover face for the extra. But for the dark matter, of course you're gonna have a masked face. Well, who would put a Gundam face on the extra dark matter? Anyways, so at the side of the skirt armor, remember I said put a sword. You can either put this black cap on and just uh, to cover up the joints or you can put on the sword like this I uh, so warning the sword is extremely unstable on the side skirt if I just touch it like this you see it's gonna fall off I didn't even use any strength at all and it just fall off the connection on the side skirt armor with the sword is definitely a problem but it is a old, it is an old mode so I can't really do anything about it uh, you probably can add some extra glue on it to stabilize it but I'm not really recommend to do it because you might accidentally glue the whole thing on you need to wait very patiently and also we have two hand option this is this pair of hands is specially made for to you to hold the eyes and the fire sword and this is an extended hand for your left arm and also we got a original extras um sword gun thing sorry i forgot what the name is please don't please don't say i'm an please don't say i'm I don't know anything. I just forgot about the name, okay? I just forget about it. And basically, just same installment like the XG extra if you built one before. It's just basically you put on this you put on this gun sword thing and then you put on the the back of it and then it just stays on there. Uh honestly though, it's not really staying that well because this red piece here is very easy to fall out. I was recording this review and it probably popped up a couple of times and just be careful about it. But seriously though, the sword is very unstabilizing. Let me show you again. If you put it on the side skirt, it's very easy. You just simply put it like this. But if I slightly touch it, you see, it, it's just going to pop out. And this is a problem about it. I don't really like it, but I have to accept it. Oh, and by the way, at the tip of the shield, you actually can plug in a beam saber effect part on it. And I think that's pretty cool. But you, but uh, you might need to point the shoe to a different direction. Otherwise, you're gonna break the beam saber. But anyway, that's 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 pretty much it. So guys, this is the end of the review. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just would like to say though, this is a very well designed MS. But I just just uh, unfortunately, it just doesn't have the new joint redesign that uses the old extra repair to join so don't really have a good articulation if they upgraded the articulation and the color separation i think it would be a excellent gunpla for universe round but overall it's still a pretty pretty good uh gunpla and i really recommend you to buy one and have fun with it and i just want to say though if you have the condition though it's still buy it although it's a pretty old gunpla now but the design and the Gunpla articulation, you know, the articulation is not acceptable, but the design is acceptable. If you just put one, and if, if you just buy one and have a look at it, I think you will be fine. If you are uh, those guys who very care about articulation, then you might not enjoy this. But personally, I'm a guy that enjoy the design more. And then second place is the articulation. But I enjoy the design, I enjoy the Gunpla, and I seriously love the design of it. it as I said at the beginning, it gave a heavy feeling of villains and i absolutely love that idea and i absolutely love the 
love the color theme as well and I definitely recommend you to pick up one because it's very good I just feel like it's very good and anyways this is the end of the review hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to my channel comment on my videos as well by the way guys and I will see you guys next time in another Gunpla review goodbye